guys, I'm Miss Look. I'll be doing a neutral slash bold tutorial. Kind of a neutral eye, neutral borderline dramatic eye with a bold lip. And I'll be using Motives Cosmetics eyeshadow for the look. Also, for an outfit of the day, I'm wearing a high split dress. You can see the split. Woo! Check the information box. I'll have a link to an outfit of the day post. And uh, as always, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. A lot of stuff can be found in the information box. Definitely check that just in case there's a giveaway. You never know. And if you would like to see how I achieve the look, stay tuned. I did apply my Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC as my primer all over my eyes. For this look, I'll be using All Motives Cosmetics eyeshadows. I'm first taking Cappuccino. It's a really nice buffer shade for my skin tone and it helps to make everything smooth. I'm taking a Sigma Fluffy Brush to blend this through my buffer area. For the inner lid area, I'm taking Red Earth. It's a shimmery, coppery red color. It's more red than copper, actually. I'm taking a flat shader brush from Lowell Cornell. You can find it at your local craft store. I got mine from Hobby Lobby. I'm taking this color. It's an olive green color. It's called Chic. I'm packing this right next to that with the same brush and just flipping it over. In the outer V, I'm taking a matte black called Onyx. To apply this, I'll be using an e.l.f. contour brush. It's just a really fluffy, precise brush. I'm going to go back and forth with this brush, the e.l.f. contour brush and the fluffy Sigma brush, just to make sure there aren't any harsh lines. As my brown highlight, I'm taking this light matte vanilla shade, and ironically the name of it is Vanilla. I'm taking a MAC 272 brush to apply it. For the top liner, I'm taking my e.l.f. cream liner in black with my favorite liner brush, which is the Bare Minerals Full Edged Liner Brush. I'm now taking an eyeliner from T-Mart. This is the perfect eye lip liner pencil in the shade number one. It is just a black eyeliner. These are actually pretty good. Been using these for a while now. I did a haul video. Check the information box if you're interested in that. I'll have a link down there. I am going to set that with Onyx. This is a professional at crease brush. Also in the center, I'm taking Chic. And then in the inside of that, I'm taking that Red Earth again. Just to smooth everything out, I'm taking that fluffy brush again and I'm taking vanilla in my tear duct area to kind of brighten it up a little bit. For my lashes, I'm taking the Red Cherry number 415, which look like this. Or this. While I'm waiting on my glue to set, I am taking the motives for Lala, volumizing and lengthening mascara. I'm going to cover that up with my Onyx, or no, with my e.l.f. cream liner in black, and I will return, clean all of this up, and do my face. I'm using my Motives Medium Golden Mineral Dual Foundation. I'm just going to wear it dry. That's my shade. It has a little bit of red in it for me, but we'll be I mean, it'll be fine today. I'm just using, just using this brush from T-Mart, this large brush. And I must say, I like this foundation a lot better wet. <laughs> I almost choked on powder. Under my eyes, I'm taking the Bare Minerals Correcting Concealer in the shade TN2. This is my sample jar. I'm almost out of it, finally. I'll be applying it with the Sedona Lace number 312. Now if you find that your concealer is lighter than your foundation, 
in which case my foundation is too dark my concealer is too light just going back over that same brush I used for my powder and I'm going to kind of merge the two together by the way I didn't add any more product to my brush I just used what was on there already I will now take my Modus for Lala mascara and do the bottom now that I've cleaned up my eye area on my cheeks I'll be using a highlighting blush for my blush I'm taking So Peachy with an e.l.f. blush brush. As my highlight, I'm taking my Amy Glow Bronzer, which is lighter than my skin and it has a beautiful shimmer to it. I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera when I zoom in or not, but it's beautiful. I'm taking the same brush. For your lips, you could definitely do a nude lip. Any color really, it would go with this. I'm gonna do a bold red lip. I'm taking my clean color femme lipstick in radiant red. Really bold red lipstick. And it's very inexpensive as well. This can be found at iKateHouse.com. I have a link to that in the information box too. That's it for the look. I will zoom you guys in one final time. These are the eyes, or eyes, I said eyes, <laughs> like a country girl. My cheeks, you can kind of see the highlight in there, or bronzer, and my lips. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial on my blog. I have a list of everything I used and pictures as a final look. Also, I'll have an outfit of the day post of what I'm wearing in the video. This is actually a dress with a very high split. So definitely check that out because I really like this dress. And I will talk to all of you soon. Thanks for watching.